Greetings, I am Decur. Ah. Hello, Decur. How is everyone today? Well, very well. Do you have any Thank messages you. for us today? Actually, I did come to say that there is someone else in charge of the hybridization programs. It was much too much for me to undertake all the different things that were going on on the ship and in the galactic area and on Earth and also take care of that program as well. I've handed it off to a very competent Fendorian lady. Her name is Sengi. She will now be in charge of all the, the questions concerning hybridization and the children, etc. Um, there has to be several reports made and there's much involvement has to be done with the hybridization program to keep it running properly. And there has been things that have been happening that have actually fallen through the cracks, if you will like to say it that way. That is an expression from Earth, I believe. <clears throat> and so this will tighten up these loose ends that have been found in the program. And I find it a wonderful relief in some ways because there are so much other things to do. Are there any questions about that? Sure, did you want to go? Hey, I have a question not about the subject. Ah, continue. How are you, Tiku? I am very well, thank you. And how are you, Sheer? I am wonderful. Um, lately I saw some reports in different uh, groups on the net that claiming that the Cabal fell, like it was, it was destroyed and we won the war. Can you maybe expand on that? If it is any true to that? There, there actually is no truth to that because for the Cabal to fall would be the destruction of the Earth in some ways. They hold many of your financial systems up, and they are also in high control in many places. Therefore, if the control was destroyed, there will be several presidents of companies that would also fall. This is a rumor just to keep your mind away from the Cabal. It is a trick. They are as much in power as they ever were, and they are not at a loss. They are actually in control in many places, just like the Anunnaki. They, they run the planet in their own way. If they find a place where they do not like the way things are done, they will find a way to cause subtle changes until eventually it comes around. But no, the Cabal has not fallen. I see. And in order for it to fall, it's actually the global economic restart in 2022. That is the purpose of it, right? I am not sure of the purpose. You mean of the Cabal? Of the economic uh, collapse in a couple of years. Ah, the karmic collapse will happen no matter who is in charge because eventually the economy will not be able to sustain itself and will implode actually so therefore that is not necessarily the work of the cabal or the Illuminati or any of these secret societies it is only what has happened because the earth has overextended itself in many ways now they have been part of that factor in the sense that they have helped to overextend it. However, they are also trying to hold it up so that they can take charge whenever it does collapse. And they are not to a point at this time to take over, so they want to keep it afloat for a little while longer. Okay, thank you, and I will pass the mic. Much, much love to you. Much love to you as well. Hello, Takur. 
Yes. Guru Dan, how are you? I am well. I am doing fairly well. Um, do you have any other announcements that you'd like to finish before we get fully into questions? No, I think that was the major announcements that I wanted to make. Sangi is doing a wonderful job, but is still getting uh, situated and organized. But okay. you may ask her any question you wish. I believe that she is organized enough to answer all your questions. Okay, we will approach that a little bit later. I'd like to get to the questions from uh, the pages because uh, many have been slipping through. So I have some um, some questions from Slava. It says hello to Excellent. Kerr. I'd like to ask hello. if you have any news for his mother. Uh, he wonders if she received the DNA infusions and perhaps Lyran daughter was born. That's a question. And if it was, then she would like to give the name of the daughter uh, Arena, A-R-I-N-A. -A. Excellent. Yes, the infusions were the Lyran infusion was complete. And, and she took it very well. The Lyran child is not quite born yet, but will be born soon. But the name Arena will be given. Wonderful. He also adds, and recently she remembers holding a child. Um, it was a male child with brown skin and golden eyes. He believes yes. it was his Syrian child and wants to know if that is correct. That is correct. And, um, okay, and then some thanks. And then he says, uh, excuse him for such a question. But if it's possible, could you please give a short update about his DNA infusions? He knows he has some, but he doesn't know the percentages. He believes it would help him uh, see uh, which aspects are uh, more dominant. He's uh, just curious about his DNA stuff. Well, there has been some changes in his updates. They have given him everything that he has asked for. The Octorian is at 6%, the Pleiadian 6%. Actually, these are a little higher than what he asked for. Octor uh, the um, Yu Yil is at seven, so I can give him the rest of the numbers later. But those are the highest of the numbers. Okay, wonderful. <coughs> let's. Um, the let's... Syrian is also fairly high at five. Hmm, okay, let's go to Christine because that kind of rounds out all of uh, Slava's questioning for now. Christine wants to know. Um, can you ask her if all the barbs and implants from the Lyran handler have been removed and his influence? Uh, she, so she wants to know if she's free from um, some implants and things that were going on with her. Are you aware One of moment. any of that? Okay. One moment and I will check. All her requests have been answered. There are no more implants within her. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm sure she'll be glad to hear that. Um, if, she is still, if she is still experiencing any discomfort or anything of that nature, it will subside. Okay. Um... I'd like to add, Christine, if you're having any other complications, get with me and we'll do another healing and uh, sort things Excellent. out. That will work. I um, have a question from a lady named Sharon. She says, Namaste. have been listening for some time and thought I'd ask, what connections do you see for her? I have no idea if I have any children or even from what civilization she's a part of. Any answers will be enlightening. Thank you so much. So kind of a basic introductory questions from Sharon wants to know kind of you know, how she's perhaps carrying on with the colonies or whatever other information you can give her just a quick um, any of ideas course there are some, Sharon. there are some hybridizations within her you Hill and Pleiadian um, are the most common of the two however she has a does have a star seed in the Sirius system hmm. and Andromeda. Mm. I'm surprised that those are not part of her DNA core. But she does have some other 
uh, definite star seed connections. Kind of sounding like it would be a good idea for her to send Jim an email, and then maybe uh, she can get into a few more personal questions about that as well. Yes. If, if, if Jim would be up for this that is communication. more of a time for the group than for individuals. Yes, yes. So let me um, let me pause at that for the more um, personal questions for now, and let's get back to um, the groups here. There seems to be some uh, trouble with the microphones today. No, is my microphone being going right? in and out? I might be going in and out because my fan might be blowing across the mic a little bit because it's a little warm here. But I see. Uh, yeah, so I moved it down a little bit more. So if it cuts out again, it's just air. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. I that. All right, so let me uh, let me problem. get back to Valerie and uh, see what else is going on here. Thank you so much, to Kerr. Thank you. Okay, I just want to make sure that no one there in the room with you has a question. If we can ask, anyone here have a question? It's it would appear that no one in the room has okay. a question. Then we'll go with Michelle. Michelle, greetings. Good morning to her. Good morning. Much love. Um, you opened by saying that uh, you saw or caught some things happening with the hybrid children. Um, yeah. I was just curious as to what that was or if it could be sure. There were some hybrid children being born that were not given permission by the parents to have children and therefore there was a problem with that. They are now monitoring all the inquiries from the parents right? To, and keeping track of them. If there are children that no one is inquiring about these will be investigated because it could be that they are children that the parents did not give permission for the child to be born. So for instance, um, many months ago you told me I had a hybrid child and I asked that excuse me because <laughs> I had no knowledge of any such a thing. Correct. Um, this is not proper protocol any longer. If your if your child is older than three year two years old, then mm -hmm. there were programs out there taking DNA without people's permission. But since the humans are now aware of the hybridization program, it is only proper that we ask permission if they want to have a child before taking their DNA and just doing it. This yeah. is proper protocol at this time. We do not want to have children being born that are not wanted by their human families. After first contact, all the children that are hybridized will be visiting their parents on Earth eventually. And if it is a surprise that you have a hybrid child, this is not a good thing. Well, it would be a surprise if I have a hybrid child. So I guess I'll go ahead and ask, do I have a hybrid child or more than one? Well, the thing is, Sengi has those records. One moment, please. Ikerawa ashin sinti kyakatawa. Nokura ashu. It would appear that you do. One? Just one. Pleiadian? Yes. Do you want to name it? Is it a boy or a girl? It is a boy. Wow. Um, Lachlan. L -O -C and Lachlan. How do you spell that? L O C H L I N. I, I did not get the first three letters. L O C H L I N. Kikarak Washanti. Thank you. It is noted. Thank you very much. Much love to you. He is two years old. <laughs> what is he? Can Human you tell years. what he looks like? <laughs> yes, he is very bright and very interesting. I cannot see him right now, but I will let you know. Interesting, like his mother. Um, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Much love to you. Tika Wakashindi Ata. 
Are there any other questions? Yes, there are a couple of questions, but but to her, I'd like to take this opportunity to let people know that the hybrid child program is not the only reason to offer DNA to the colonies. That there is a this portion, is there is a portion of the colonies where you can donate your DNA for the purpose of medicinal reasons to help other races, other civilizations, other beings, that when you offer your DNA to the colonies, you can specify if it's for the hybrid child or if it's for medicinal. That way, anybody who wants to help with galactic things going on can offer their DNA for that kind of thing. Yes, there are some species in desperate need of human DNA. It seems to be a stabilizing factor in some uh, species physiology. Some species have intellectualized themselves into a very weak state. Not, not that they are going to be extinct soon, but they need more of a physical body. They need more strength in their system. They need more resistance to viruses and disease. And therefore, the human hybridization helps them with this, at least most species. We have discovered there are some species that will not be helped by human um, hybridization. However, most of them are helped. Uh, most humanoids. Yeah, thank you, Tucker. And, and just quickly, um, our friend Bill Windsor uh, has been asking about his uh, infusion? Had, has he been activated? It has been complete already, so he's in good shape? All right, that was yes. that was the only thing I had on that. Thank you so much for answering these more personal questions. It is all right. We will move forward. Hello, Takao. This is Neil. Neil, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well. Thank you for your work. Yeah, thank you for everything as well. I appreciate it a lot. Um, so yeah, I was wanting to ask a question about the Elo Shanda Zendai. Uh, do I have a, a, a second child with them? Not quite yet. If you want one, then you may request it. Okay, that's okay. I don't want to request one just yet. Okay, yes. so uh, that, that was the only question regarding that. One other thing I'm curious about, the Fendorian that you're working with, Sengi, uh, what, did, what color is she? I really don't. Oh, excellent! One, one moment, please. Kigorowaka Shintewakata. Ah, yes, she is one of the more green Fendorians. Oh, really? Oh, that's beautiful. Huh? Okay, that's all the questions. Okay, to I was you. what you were, uh, what you meant by that. But color is yeah. not something we discuss much, but that is all right. Yes, yeah, okay. It's just uh, I know that the Fendorians are all different colors. Yes, they are. They have many different colors on Fendoria. That is correct. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much, Dakar. Thank you uh, to you and to everybody else in Gothic Mir. So thank you. Much love. Thank you. I appreciate your questions. Is there anyone else or should yes, someone Nabila. else come now? One moment. Nabila, would have one question, please? Nabila. Hello, Dakar. How are you? Hello, Nabila. <laughs> um, I'm just curious. Do I have a hybrid child? Not yet. Okay. We have your... You have given us some of your DNA material, but we do not think that you should have a hybrid child quite yet. Yes, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> that is all right. I believe that that will be a wonderful thing one day, but not at the moment. Yeah. You are still so learning much about who you are and developing all your gifts and skills. Yes, thank you. You are welcome. Angie. Yeah. Oh. Angie has a question. Okay. One moment. When you were talking about the different species wanting our DNA or the hybridization for um, the purposes of helping them in regards to illnesses. Are, 
do they get that information? Do they get the DNA from you, or do they just come to us directly and take it? No. No. We bring it into our laboratories and specify it for their, as an inoculation, as you would call it. This would be to help them with their different systems. But yes, it has to be actually uh, synthesized slightly to help specific races. However, your DNA is very helpful in that it does not need to be synthesized very much to be able to be given to other species and be very effective. Does that make sense to you? It does. So they come, they come to you to get that? They have, yes. There are three species that we are concerned about at this time and we have given them uh, some several thousand inoculations to see how the the first group responds and so far things are looking very promising their rates of improvement have been very good it, there are much more scientific terms for what we are doing however I will keep it simple for now Hello, Takara. Yes. As I got a question regarding a hybrid child, um, in one of my um, meditation, a hybrid child visited me by surprise, and I don't know who it was. Can you tell me who that is and what was the purpose of uh, visiting me then? It wasn't your child, was it? I do not know because I'm not aware of that. I see. One moment, and I will check that out. When was this approximately? Um, probably about a month ago. About a month ago. Yes. Ikarakashanti pia sengi kopasha butisu shu naikyokom shanti. Is this Sam? Yes, it's Sam. Yakuchamu kitiya taso. They will check on that for you. Thank you. It was not your child. But this was a child that you have been connected to. One moment. Okay. This child was bringing you information. I do not know if you received it in the physical, but your subconscious has received a message from this child, which is very important to you. It does tell you something about your future. But, of course, since they are not allowed to tell your future, it went to the subconscious and it will be opened at the appropriate time. Okay. Can you also tell me the name of the child? Yes. One moment. Zorin Zinzi. Zorin Zinzi. Great. Zorin Zinzi. Great. Thank you, Dekar. You're welcome. Tikur, it's uh, yeah. Shiro again. I have a few more questions. Uh, yes. First of all, uh, like I said before, uh, if you need my DNA, if it's for more hybrid children, if it's for medical for other species, and then I would be yes. gladly donate. We have your DNA on file. And so we do not need any more of it at this time. But thank you very much. We ha do have a good supply. I see. And do you have any more uh, galactic children? I know that I have one hybrid Lyran child. Do you have any more? Not at this time. Do you want more? Um, if it's okay for you and if it's doing some purpose the in your... I will tell Sengi about this pro this uh, desire for you. Kochiaka retia Sengi Sengi wapeshigua. I see. And one last question: uh, Can you help me find another infusion after this one? There are several infusions still available. However, we do not know how they will mix with what you have already. This will have to be investigated before anything else can be done. Okay. 
Thank you. But there are many species out there willing and wanting to give their infusion to the human uh, part of this earth. But we have not accepted their hybridization programs. They are a little different than what we propose to do. So therefore, we are trying to reorganize so that we can accept some of their DNA. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Thank you very much for all that you do. I did not hear that. Thank you for all that you do, and you're amazing, and we all love you. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Takur, and uh, we, we would like to thank question. you again. Oh, okay. Can you I have one in your room. To Angie's question, uh, I'm wondering if you already have a, a, a library of human DNA, can't you put bits and pieces together and get everything you need from that? Why, how large a sample size do you need to be more effective in helping other races? It depends on the race. Uh, some require more DNA in their infusions or inoculations than others. It, it depends on how tolerant they are of the hybridization material. So this is something, we do not take huge samples from each human. We take smaller samples because we want to investigate on each sample uh, what benefits each one has. And so it takes a, it's a very time-consuming experience to be able to label all these different uh, specimens to, to find what we need for the infusion for each specific species. Sometimes inoculations are made for specific people or as or aliens or as you call them and so therefore the different uses for the specimens can be used up uh, quite quickly so therefore we do use a great deal of human humanity to help us with this project because it we are not taking a great deal of DNA when we do it to the first time it would be painful to take a great deal. So we only take very small amounts so that you do not feel it. It causes no pain. And so therefore, a vast amount of people are being used for a, actually a small amount of a DNA infusions. Does that make sense to you? Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. Therefore, also I want to continue on that thought for one moment. We have discovered that with bringing in several different thousands of uh, uh, specimens from thousands of different people, we find that there is a greater accuracy on how we can develop the, the serums or the infu infusions or inoculations, whatever you want to call them, so that they can be actually much more beneficial to certain species than they would be with just one or two different DNA specimens. Therefore, the labeling and distribution of these different kinds of DNAs is very important. And, and um, it is a beautiful thing that people are allowing us to do so. Of course, we are only taking these things by request at this time. There were species and specimens taken, not species, there were specimens taken without people's request long ago, before we knew you, but it was very rare. We were still learning about the different needs and learning about humans and how, how they can be helpful with their DNA. And it has just come to our attention within the last couple years how very, very influential human DNA is to the galaxy. And so, therefore, we are using it in a greater quantity, of course. Thank you so much, Takur. Your message today has been so helpful to everyone listening. Thank yeah. you. I would like to ask... Would you like someone else to come? We would, and I would like to ask if Sengi is available. Sengi is available, I believe. Oh, it would be wonderful to speak with her today. 
One moment, please. Namaste. Namaste. Bless you. <laughs>